Bio-based plastic is made from bio-resources. Um, the source of the material it's made of is different from the standard plastic that are made of fossil resources. Another way to talk about it is bio-based also means it's made from renewable resources, so resources that can grow again in contrast with the standard polymers that are made from fossil and depletable resources. In the case of bio-PE, it is mostly made out of sugarcane and parts of the sugarcane that are not used for food or sugar production. Bio-based is often confused with biodegradable and it's totally different. So bio-based really refers to the source of material used to make the plastic, while biodegradable only refers to the fact that the material can get degraded at the end of its life back into carbon dioxide or biomass. Once produced, the bio-based polymers behave actually exactly like standard polymers. They would have same mechanical properties, same sealing properties, and importantly, they will also have the same recyclability. So for bio-based PE, it will be recyclable into PE or polyolefin streams, just like standard PE is. When using bio-based plastics, customers can actually immediately do two types of sustainability claims. One is very simply claiming the bio-based percentage into the plastic. The second type of claim that customer can do is really on the carbon footprint reduction, which is the major impact to the environment. At Amcor, we actually have a, a tool called Asset that we're happy to use with our customer to quantify this impact into their specific structures. Amcor uses particularly bio-PE that are used as sealants into the packages. And there is now a full portfolio that can be used, is commercially available. So going from very standard and simple sealants to more high performance options like sealing at low temperature or sealing through contamination, as well as easy open solutions. So peelable sealants made of bio-PE are also available.